بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية الإمام الكاظم أقسام الديوانية قسم اللغة الإنجليزية مرحلة الثالثة مادة علم اللغة سيد محمد حسين البدري Today we are going to talk about certain rules In the previous lecture we talked about certain points concerning how to make a diagram So and also we talked about the symbols Okay Today we are going to talk about certain rules, for example, phrase structure rules, lexical rules, and movement rules. We have so much explanations, but what is important is that there are certain points, okay, certain points with, with particular uh, rules, with specific rules, okay, which are very important. So, I'm going to explain certain points and also explain how to make a diagram because what's important for this chapter is what how to make a diagram tree diagram so here when we use a tree diagram format we can think of it in different or in two different ways here we have two different ways how to make a diagram so it's not important What's important is what this second approach. So here we have two approaches. One is static rep representation, and the second is our format, and the second is dynamic format. So what is dynamic here? What is important about from its name? When we say it is dynamic, it means what? It, it is generative. Dynamic, generative. Static, it, is, it means what? It is the opposite of dynamic. It means stable. But dynamic is what? To me, it's generative. So, this approach is very appealing because it would enable us to generate from its name. It's because it's dynamic, so it will be what? It will be able to generate very a very large number of sentences with what look like a very small number of rules. Remember, we talked about this point. We said that there are certain rules. There are very small number of rules which can make unlimited grammatical sentences unlimited phrases remember we talked about this point for example if we have this rule for phrase noun phrase if we put this rule for noun phrase this rule from this rule we can make many many sentences okay so this is what we mean so these rules are called what phrase structure rules they are called phrase structure rules okay so these uh, phrase structure rules from its name here as the name said justice these phrase structure rules these rules this is the definition of phrase structure rules these rules state that the structure of a phrase of a specific type will consist of one or more constituent in a particular order the same idea yeah. we can use the phrase structure rules to represent the information of a tree diagram in another format okay so this is the phrase structure rules so when we say phrase structure rules how many phrases do we have we are going to talk about this for example here noun phrase article noun noun phrase article noun the same here so according to this rule so we will talk about this according to this rule a noun phrase what a noun phrase rewrites as an article followed by a noun an article followed by what a noun what are the rules here are the rules okay this is the summary of the rules and this is the explanation the first rule which is what we talked about this phrase structure rules the first rule is in the following is in the following or in the following set of symbol and necessarily incomplete phrase structure rules states that what a sentence rewrites as a noun phrase and a verb phrase okay this is phrase structure rules a sentence rewrites as a noun phrase and verb phrase of course in a sentence we have what we have noun phrase and verb phrase this is something absolute okay 
The second rule states that a noun phrase rewrites as either an article plus an optional adjective plus a noun or a pronoun or a proper noun. We talked about this. We talked about phrase, noun phrase. What does it consist? What does noun phrase consist of? What does verb phrase consist of? So here, what? Just rules. So, this is a button. So the sen sentence, in the sentence we have noun phrase, verb phrase. This is the summary. This is the summary for the whole paragraphs. These paragraphs, okay? For the whole paragraphs, this is the summary for them. So in sentence we have what? Noun phrase, verb phrase. Noun phrase consists of what? Article uh, or, or adjective. Sometimes we find adjectives, some optional. Noun, pronoun, or proper noun. Okay, remember this. Verb phrase, we have verb or noun phrase. Okay, prepositional phrase, adverb. These are optional. Sometimes we find them, sometimes we don't find them. PP, prepositional noun phrase. Okay, prepositional noun phrase. So this is the, what? This is the uh, phrase structure rules. So phrase structure rules, okay, these, what, these rules state that the structure of phrase of a specific type will consist of one or more constituent in a particular order. Here we have these rules, here we explain them, okay. Lexical rules, so now we know that the sentence has noun phrase, verb phrase, or prepositional phrase. Sentence, noun phrase, verb phrase. You see, we are going to talk about this and explain it in a tree diagram. Then we have lexical rules, phrase structure rules, generate structures. See, phrase, we talked about this, phrase structure rules. What do they generate? Generate structures. In order to turn those structures into recognizable English, we also need what? Lexical rules. That what, 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 what do the lexical rules do? What they do, they specify which words can be used when we rewrite constituents, such as noun, for example. The first rule in the following set states that a proper noun rewrites as Mary or George. Okay, so it's very easy. So, pro proper noun, what is a proper noun? Of course, Mary, jo George, Ahmed, Ali, Tom, Zahra, Fatma, etc. Noun, in general, noun, girl, dog, boy, the door. A pen, a book, article, a, a, and the pronoun, it, you, she, he, they, we, verb, lexical verb, follow, help, so, see, read, write, watch, you see? What is the benefit of this? We will know and we will see. What is the benefit of these rules? We can rely on these rules to generate the grammatical center. So, this is the benefit. When we rely on these rules, we can generate what? Grammatical sentences. This makes you able, be able to what? To make grammatical, to generate grammatical sentences. For example, here, here we have what? From 1 to 6, grammatical. And here from 7 to 12, what? Any grammatical. So, here, a dog followed the boy. A dog followed the boy. And dog followed the boy. You see? Grammatical. But here, dog followed boy. Wrong. Dog is what? Is, is what? Noun. And we have here, proper noun. It's not, dog is not a proper noun. Okay? And if we come back and see what is, if you remember, what is in, uh, in, in noun phrase, we have article plus what? Noun. So here we have article plus noun. You see? Okay, the same here. The boy, verb phrase, and here now in the phrase, the the boy, here boy. Okay, if we can make this grammatical, yes, we can say Ali followed Ahmed. You see, so we have here proper noun. No, no problem. Okay, so this what tells you how to make grammatical sentences. This shows how to make good, well-formed grammatical sentences. Mary helped George.
cannot say the the help the help you the help you boy you see george so the dog you see george proper noun so verb the dog see complete noun phrase the boy helped you but you can say george marry dog george married no where is the verb here okay no verb but here the boy helped you it's so, okay helped at the beginning we don't have helped this is lexical verb george the dog see it followed mary yes for example it the dog the cat followed mary but here you see you you it so that you can say you saw it it saw you then the cat the dog saw you okay pronoun okay you see you see you saw it you it saw oh mary george help mary george help okay you can say mary help george you see, we don't have a proper noun plus a proper noun. These are the rules. So the rules show you how to make well grammatical sentences. You see here, we have this. This is the gist of the, we have subject, sentence, sorry, noun phrase and verb phrase. Okay, a dog followed the boy. How to make it in a three day gram? Noun phrase, verb phrase. Noun phrase, a dog consists of what article a and now in what dog clear verb phrase we have verb and from verb phrase we have what noun phrase which is article noun okay so okay a dog followed the boy if we want to make this dog followed boy if we want to make it for example dog yes dog followed boy we can say sentence, noun phrase, verb phrase. So, but here dog, dog. Where is the article? If we say article noun, there is no article. You see, what do you mean? Proper noun, proper noun dog. It is a name of person, for example. It is Ahmed, Ali, George, Mary. No, it is a pronoun. No, so it is wrong. You see, so when you when you know how to make a tree diagram when you know the symbols you will know that this sentence is grammatical subject sorry sentence okay we are used to doing this subject subject because we are teaching grammar yes so sentence here another sentence easy sentence noun phrase and verb phrase so this is what always noun phrase verb phrase Prob Pronoun you pronoun there's not a proper noun or it is article noun you see pronoun you verb or phrase verb so and noun phrase only in noun phrase we have pronoun you see they are very easy then we go to movement rules the very small set of phrase structure rules from its name movement means as if we we have what we have a movement of a branch of the tree yani ghusn so with a movement we we move it how to move it let's see the very small set of phrase structure rules just described is a simple or sample of what a more complex phrase structure of grammar of english with many more parts would look like so these rules can be treated as a representation of the underlying or deep structures of sentences in English. One feature or feature of these underlying structures is that they will generate sentences with a fixed word order, thus convenient for creating declarative forms. Okay. So you will help Mary. So we have this sentence, you will help Mary, but not for what? Not for making interrogative forms as used in questions. Will you help Mary? Okay. And then she is just as if the man just the just is that we what we can we what we have seen is that we can make three diagram for this such sentences. You will help Mary. I am going to Baghdad, for example. I will go to help Mary. It's okay. But what about the question? For example, if we have this question, can we make a tree diagram for it? Yes. In making the question, you see here, we move. This is the point. 
هاي الزبده كلها مال هذا in making the question we move one part of the structure to a different position this is what this process is based on a movement rule okay so this is the definition and this is the information about what is a movement rule it means that we move okay we move part okay of the structure a branch of the tree to a different position to the beginning for example if we talk about this process we need to expand our phrase structure so we need it we need this we need to expand it to include what an auxiliary verb which is auxiliary this is what abbreviation aux it means auxiliary verb as a part of the sentence this is illustrated in the first rewrite rule below here we have the we, we auxiliary verbs where they are called also helping verbs you are familiar with this you know this okay so this is the rule sentence now in a phrase auxiliary verb of phrase auxiliary can could should will with okay verb in general follow help see read write etc with these components we can specify a simple movement rule that's involved in the creation of one basic type of question in English so here we have this kind this is what this kind of movement rule which what is the rule for example here we have sentence now in a phrase and verb of phrase now in a phrase auxiliary verb of phrase auxiliary at the beginning of course when we want to make a question we what would we bring the auxiliary at the beginning so auxiliary now in the phrase verb phrase that's all okay you see here this is the normal we know this which is the normal we talked about this in detail for example sentence now in the phrase auxiliary because this is auxiliary you see verb phrase alone auxiliary alone not from what verb phrase alone well verb phrase verb and noun a phrase rob a noun so you will help mary you will help mary how to make it a question for example just you see sentence auxiliary noun phrase verb phrase so this what you move this okay you move this part at the beginning it's very easy that's all okay you move this part just you will you help mary see you move this part at the beginning that's all here we have another example can you see the dog should george follow you you see could the boy see it etc now very important of course back to recursion remember recursion to talked about it it is what it is repeated it means it is something which is repeated the simple phrase structure rules this is earlier have no recursive elements no recursive, no repetition. Each time we start to create a sentence, we only create a single sentence structure. We actually need to be able to include sentence structures within other set what sentence structure. This is the point. What about this? Yani, here, as if the writer, uh, what you tries to tell us that what we talked about is just simple sentence. What about if we have sentence within sentence? How can we make a three diagram? Show us a three diagram. If we have a sentence with a sentence, if we have many sentences in a traditional grammar, these sentence structures were described clauses. They are called clauses. Okay, clause is what is smaller than a sentence, sometimes called sentence clause. You will have this in the fourth stage. Charlotte. We know, for example, that Mary helped George is a sentence, Mary helped George, simple sentence. We can put this sentence inside another sentence, beginning with, for example, Kathy knew that Mary helped George. You see, sentence within sentence and being tendentially recursive. We can put this sentence inside another sentence, also sentence within sentence. So we can say, John believed, you see, John believed that Kathy knew that Mary helped George you see here we have three sentences so one may ask how can we make a three diagram for more than sentence together we will see 
In these sentences, two new proper nouns and two new verb, verbs have been used. We have to expand our earlier set of lexical rules to include the proper noun, John, Cathy, and verb, believe, new. After verbs such as believe and know, as in, the, in these examples, the word that introduced as a complement phrase. We will see this in detail here. Here, here you see, Mary helped George, one sentence. Kathy knew that Mary helped George, two sentences. John believed that. Kathy knew that Mary helped George. So how can we make for them? Can make three diagram here. Complement phrase. They are called complement phrases. So the word that as used in this example is called a complementizer. Okay? So a complementizer that is a complementizer. So it's easy. C. C. Symbol for that it is what C. So what is C complementizer? Yani it can believe many is it can believe. The role of that as a complementizer is to introduce a complement phrase. What is the role of that? To what? To introduce a complement phrase, which is what? CB. So CB here, C CB is what? A complement phrase. For example, in the second sentence, Kathy knew we can ident identify one CB, which contains that a blessed marriage helped George. We already know that Mary helped George is a sentence sentence so we are now in a position to define a cp in the following way so what is cb complement of phrase rewrite as a complementizer on a sentence cb cs cb c okay complement c complement or complementizer plus sentence we can also see from the same sentence that co co the complement of phrase comes after the verb new this means that we are using the cp as a part of verb of phrase as any new that mary helped george so there must be another rule so we have here another rule a phrase a verb of phrase really writes as a verb and complement of phrase vb v cb okay okay in this way we have here yes, sentence, noun of phrase, verb of phrase, noun of phrase, verb of phrase, verb of phrase, and verb of phrase. We have what we have verb and CB, and CB what we have complementizer and sentence. This is simple. We will see this. I hope it's clear here. I need to make it small, right? Yes. So, here we have what? We have John. You can read it. John. John believed that Kathy knew that Mary helped George. How to make it? Here we have sentence. Now in a phrase, verb phrase, you see? Now in a phrase, verb phrase. No problem. Now in a phrase, verb phrase. Now in a phrase, verb phrase. Now in a phrase, verb phrase. What is in verb phrase? Now in a phrase, which is what? God, what is this a problem? We have John. Noun of phrase, which is proper noun, it is John. John believed. Verb of phrase, it has what here? It has verb, this verb, believed. And it has what? CB. This is CB. You see? Complement. Okay. Complement. We have here. Complement of phrase. C, CB. How is CB? CB, it has what? Complementizer. And it has sentence. You see? Complementizer that. And it has sentence. The same. When we have sentence here, the same you will do it as if it is from the beginning. So you have sentence. This is what Kathy knew that Mary helped George. So here we have what sentence within sentence. Also from the sentence, the same rule. We have noun phrase. 
which is what pronoun cat and verb noun phrase verb phrase the same you see noun phrase verb phrase noun phrase verb phrase and verb phrase we have what verb and we have complementizer here complement and phrase or complement phrase here we have complementizer C and here we have what subject C subject and from subject we have what the last sentence this Mary help George we have noun phrase verb phrase proper noun verb phrase we have verb help and we have noun phrase proper noun George proper noun George you see very easy just you have to have a pen okay and a paper you have to work on them okay if you know from the beginning of the chapter if you know the symbols and how to work on tree diagram how to work on symbols how, how to know these are what kind of I mean what kind of phrases it will be very easy for you okay you can read you can read here some some sentences some questions and if you have any question you can ask thank you so much we finish with the book okay and I will tell you something when when I post this uh, video